Wikipedia. These are anti-tank mines. They're being stacked along with anti-personnel mines and awaiting the most effective detonation for disposal. It's ordinance common around Thailand's borders from past conflicts. Back in July, I stood face to face with about 200 pounds of explosives. This is the story of the fight against landmines. To tell this story, we're gonna have to go back to the beginning. Our story takes place in the Kingdom of Thailand. Landing in Bangkok, I made the six hour drive to Sarin, a city near the border with Cambodia, best known for its elephants. It's a place where people build and live their lives. Here at the border gather some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever met. Our story has three main efforts. Marine Corps EOD Techs, the Golden West Humanitarian Foundation, Thailand Mine Action Center. It is estimated that around 100 million mines are spread over 60 countries worldwide. The threat from unexploded ordnance lives on for years after conflicts have ended. The fight against landmines has been going on for a while now. One of its most famous figures is Princess Diana. Despite the controversy over her strong support for a ban on anti-personnel mines, the princess went ahead with her program. In fact, she asked for a last-minute change so that she could include a visit to Quito, said to be the most mined city in the world. Shortly after, she walked through this minefield in Angola. The Ottawa Mine Ban Treaty was signed. But why are all these people focusing on landmines? As the smoke settles in the immediate aftermath of wars, it's often mine action teams from the UN who are first to arrive on the scene. Mine fields stunt economic development and limit travel and transportation, maiming and killing thousands of people every month. มันมีระเบิดนะมันมีทุนระเบิดมันมีวัตถุระเบิดอะไรสักอย่างเนี่ยเราก็เป็นเด็กเราก็กลัวฉะนั้นเวลาเวลาไปไหนมาไหนเน
to make sure they never see the light of day again, to make sure they never hurt anyone ever again. ฉะนั้นนะครับการฝึกการฝึกในลักษณะของ Students of the course experimented with explosives, learning the ins and outs of explosive theory by making improvised shaped charges with more common and accessible items. I've had the opportunity to be able to meet some people that work in TMAC, whether they are instructors or students, and I've already noticed personal and professional growth in their capabilities, their willingness to take charge. Honestly, all these students are, uh, that we've been working with have uh, taken w what we teach and they, uh, and they apply it very well because uh, they care about their job. They want to make this place a, a bit safer, right? Right now they're setting up their improvised shape charges, getting the distances, uh, the correct standoff. There are so many variables and explosives, and the students tweet every last one till their charges were perfect. Checking the results and going back to make it better. ระหว่างตัวของของครูไทยครูสหรัฐกับนักเรียนที่จบมาแล้วที่เค้าไปปฏิบัติงานต่อมันเหมือนมันต้องมันต้องร่วมกันบูรณาร่วมกันในการพั
ถึงพยายามที่จะพัฒนาตัวเองพัฒนาการเรียนการสอนให้มันดียิ่งยิ่งขึ้นไป The technicians had their hardest test yet to safely disable hidden mines during their final assessment. At the end of the day, they are going to be the guys on top of the item. They're going to be the guys on top of that landmine working it. But if we have a way that is better, or have a experience that is better, we will be able to use it and use it and use it. Working with deadly explosives like these poses real threats and affect real people. The more tools and knowledge afforded to these technicians, the better their chance of survival and going home. Training these level three students allows TMAC a better opportunity to train their own force. Creating a, a foundation for Thai UD technicians, and this way they can go ahead, take what we've taught them, build upon it, and teach their own EOD technicians. Once they can train their own force, they're more capable. Once they're more capable, they're more effective in the minefields. And the more effective they are in the minefields means they're going to meet their mission sooner and allows those students to go back to their units as mentors and future instructors and release land quicker. ตรวจค้นหรือถอนนะครับหรือกวาดล้างสนามทุ่นระเบิดที่มันยังมีอยู่ให้มันหมดไปนะครับจากพื้นที่ประเทศไทย I couldn't imagine living in an area like this where I could not allow my kids to just walk out the front door and go play so to put myself in, in their position um, and think about how this would affect me I think we would live our lives in fear เหมือนเริ่มแรกคือเราอันดับแรกในเราเราเราดีใจเราดีใจที่ที่เขาเข้ามาถ่ายทอดความรู้ให้กับเราเราดีใจแล้วก็ในส่วนของของความแน่นแฟ้นของของสัมพันธ์ในเรื่องสัมพันธ์ทำไมตรีเนี่ยผมว่าไม่ไม่ค่อยมีปัญหา Especially EOD technicians we have a similar a similar mindset you know like we think kind of the same way we're doing a very similar job if not the exact same job and I build a lot of friendships here it brings both nations together the United States and the Kingdom of Thailand It also develops personal relationships that carry on for years. And just like that, people from completely different backgrounds, different cultures, completely different worlds, come together with a shared determination to truly make a difference. Mm -hmm.